Welcome back everyone. Just doing a quick uh, video of the diesel heater install. Um, so I mounted it through the bottom. It is not hot. I'm not worried about it. I did some testing in the past about the temperature. Um, quick fuel pump there is not mounted either. So that should obviously, uh, that's a clicking you hear. A uh, little PVC through to run the fuel line. And I plan on actually using that as well for the air conditioning tube to let the water condensation down. Um, tank is mounted on the wall, three quarter inch. Heater is here. Uh, the, I'm at the vent. Have the control over here and this hole over here is gonna be the air conditioning itself. So that's pretty good there. Um, underneath, I have not formed anything up yet. Um, but you can see I have this, the intake, and that's gonna be kind of taken back to this, uh, I welded on a tab over there just to have it, just a regular welding tab I bought on Amazon. They've come in quite handy for a lot of things. So I'll have that over there. And then what I did is I wrapped the exhaust and a fiberglass wrap that I got on Amazon, which is you can see smoking a little bit, which they said is normal. Uh, and then I'm gonna bought an extender. Uh, reason being is on this side of the passenger side of the camper, I'm gonna have a vent. So it's gonna intake um, in the door. So it's gonna intake for the air conditioning as well as for the heater. Um, so I wanted to make sure my exhaust was completely on the other side of the intake. So I have the air intake for the heater, air intake for the exhaust, and the air that goes around to uh, uh, the heater on the inside is going to be all in fresh air. Then the exhaust is going to go through. So I'll, mount, I'll weld some more of those tabs across, kind of have it shooting out underneath that way. So um, it's on the complete opposite side. So during the winter time, I'll just leave the driver's side windows and doors shut, and then I could. Uh, give a little fresh air from the opposite side on the passenger side to make sure there's nothing there and obviously have a condensation. You see the smoke just kind of coming off there. That's the fiberglass wrap. So um, and that's the bottom of the intake, which I'm gonna have also drip out the air conditioning condensation. So any questions or anything else, please let me know. But um, I think you can kind of hear it. It's not very loud. I don't think it'll be loud inside. And I gotta be honest, even with no windows, no doors, and anything else, this is really a, um, the temperature in the cabin has increased quite a bit. So I have a feeling this is a 5KW. This is gonna be more than <laughs> warm in here during the winter time. Probably gonna be um, beyond warm. Probably have the doors open, or the windows open and the uh, exhaust fan uh, uh, open, so, which I prefer to do for safety. And I'll have a CO2 sensor as well. So any questions, just let me know. And thanks a lot. Bye-bye.